Hey! So today we're gonna do a move. Today we're gonna do a continuation video of uh, last week's back to school uh, supplies, but this one is gonna be a bit different because it's not stickers. It's it's going to be heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to be pressing a design uh, onto a pencil case. Uh, I've done this. I've done a sketch of what I want to do. So the the design idea is going to be a cat. Hey Benny. Benny really. Benny really loves me. Don't you? Oh, you're so well behaved. Oh, Benny, stop it. The camera loves you. Stop it. I'm going to be doing a cat and also her name and that's it. I've done this really quality drawing of a cat that I want on the pencil case. It's top shelf. It's up there. I didn't film myself drawing it. There's the cat. I drew it in blue pencil because I didn't want to get off my chair and find my normal <laughs> pencil. And now I'm going to scan it into my computer and make it digital. In fact, I've changed my mind and what I'm going to do is just draw it straight away. I'll use this as a reference because it's that simple and to be quite honest, it's crap. I just wanted to get an idea before I go in. Drawing digitally is hard without a uh, one of those these pen tablets. I had one at one point, but it's it's disappeared and it was like this big and really laggy. So now we're going to draw this fantastic cat that I have professionally scribbled down to start off with. I'm going to pick on this, this wobbly tool here and just, just get in some lines, you know. You know how cats are. They look exactly like this. This is my base, this is my base, my starting point. It looks exactly like the sketch. I'm going to just do some little refining touches like cusp, arrow, pull, turn, push, ear, done. Send it to the print shop. Now we're gonna cusp. We're going to curve. We're gonna give it a bit of an organic curve. Cat ears are never, they're never pointy. They're not completely pointy. So what we're gonna do is go to envelope, no, got it wrong, fillet. We're gonna to go to fillet and we're going to fillet. Fillet. Oh, we're gonna fillet. Turn it into a little, a little smooth boy, just like that. And they don't teach you that in design school. Although I wouldn't know because I didn't go to design school. But <laughs> Cats have like pointy cheeks. Pointy cheek cats. I should probably get a reference image up. I've got no idea. Wow, what a cat. And now what we're gonna do is just jump onto Google. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I'm trying to draw. We're gonna copy and paste it and drag our current one up top of it because it's gonna be close. Yes, it's gonna be close. I mean, I, could, I couldn't have nailed those ears anymore. And how's the proportions? Okay. Now there's clearly nothing I've got to fix here, but I'm just gonna go in and do some little slight tweaks because I don't want this video to last two seconds. I want you guys to get your money's worth. So what we're gonna do is just tweak it up. Tweak it up to match the cat that I have on the screen. Yeah, that's the stuff. And we're going to start drawing in its eyes. I'm going to stylize them a little bit just because 
I want to, and I'm the boss. I do what I want to do. So we're going to just make them a little bit, ouch, and make them a little bit like that. I'm going to draw some, some straight lines through it, guys, yeah. And we're going to take them out like that. Copy, paste, flip, pull to the other side. We're going to rotate, this is the point that we're going to rotate from. And just going to turn it up like that. And everyone's like, wow, Tash, cool cat. Who drew that? It was Tash. Oh, can you just, they don't teach you that in mechanic school. Now, we're going to fillet this one as well. So it's just a bit smoother. Yeah, righto. She's hell not into it. Oh, not there it is. Smooth it out. Not, not enough. Not enough in my humble opinion. We're gonna smooth it out even more. We just want that nice soft noggin look. We're gonna cut it in half. And then do that mirror effect. Copy, paste, chuck it there. Oh, it's looking a bit like a Pokemon now. Uh, don't, mm, it's, just not, it's just not great yet. And just an extra little touch, we're gonna add these spicy boys. I really don't like how um, how perfectly round they are, so I'm going to change that, and make it a bit more organic. No cat's paws are actually so tiny. Benny's little paws. Benny! Benny! Benny and the cat. Okay. Look at these. Look at these little things. And her toe beans look like coffee beans. Don't they, Benny? You've got little coffee beans on your toes. She's a good boy. I've got my ruler. This is the surface that we're working with. It's nice. We're talking 300 mil long wide, long wide by 190. 300 by 190. There she is. That's what we're working with. Now I'm thinking. See, it just looks like a square right now. What I'm going to do is just draw a little zip in there just so we know. Wow, that's a real quality pencil case. Who drew that zip? They must be a professional graphic designer. Wow, I want to employ that person in my company to draw me a zip. Okay, zip's too small. Nice, okay. We're going to fillet the corners too so it looks more authentic. There it is, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, we should make it grey as well. Mm. Mm. Alright. I'm thinking something like that. Real spicy, real nicey. Love it, live for it. Okay. There's our mat, there's our vinyl. Absolutely riveting footage. Here's our cut artwork. Oopsie. You can see how much I like to live on the edge. 
literally on the edge. One handed waiting. They don't teach you this in design school. Nah, man. There you go. Now I'm just going to get rid of the eyes and the negative space and the lettering. And there we have it. We have some fully weeded out Kitty Cat Caitlin's. The next step is wait for the spicy pressure boy to warm up. We need that number to be at 160. Okay, so that's all taped down. Uh, this tape is just heat proof tape, so it's not gonna be damaged or anything or melt. This when pressed down is gonna be a nice edge, I think. It's all ready to be pressed. All we have to do is cover it with this stuff. Uh, can't remember what it's called. Don't really care, it's good shit. So now we've just got to grab the big pressy boy by the handle. Not good thing to do one handed, but anyway. And then we push it down. Just like that. I'm covering the camera. And we slowly peel it off. Oh, see it's still not quite set. That's okay, we can press it again. We'll just get rid of this. Still some bits not fully set down. We lift and we admire. There it is. There you have it. I'm still tempted to give it little eyes. Maybe some some gold eyes would suit. Let's see what we can do. Made some cat eyes. We didn't have gold, but I did find silver. And I think that that's going to look fantastic. So I'm just going to, again, align that properly. Well, the tape makes it look gold, which is pretty cool. Anyway, it's time to press. It's reveal time. Get the tape off. Okay, guess guess not. Okay. Wow, that looks so cool. Let's look at it in the light. Pretty, pretty. There's the finished look. I might just give it one more press to make sure that it holds in place. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, uh, that's the end of what is bound to be yet another one of my super viral videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a little bit about how we put cats on pencil cases because it's, uh, it's, it's very common practice. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, look out for my next video. It's probably going to be a DIY and I've got some stuff planned for the future as well um so yeah get get excited <laughs> thanks for watching bye